um, you know, just I'll, I'll let you all start off with any questions and then I'll add, add anything if needed. In terms of intensity, how much of a difference did you see in the team tonight, especially when, you know, Florida State kind of started on that run there in the fourth quarter early, but then just to kind of keep them at bay? Well, I, I was really impressed again. I thought, I thought we played about 37 minutes of, of pretty good basketball. The first three there, the fourth quarter was was not good. Um, it's not like it was terrible, but it's like when when you build a lead, you know, you, you want to sustain it or expand it. And unfortunately, we give up like a 4-0 run, and then we foul. We turn the basketball over. 18 turnovers is way too uh, way way too many. Um, you know, in that I don't know if they have the fourth quarter. Yeah, we turn we we turn turn them over five times in the fourth quarter. Go three of twelve. Just uh, we got sloppy, and that's where we have to get smarter. We came up with some stops. We get some offensive rebounds, and instead of pulling it out, we drive in, and then the shot gets blocked. It's like guys, we're winning. Clock's our friend. So. There's some basketball that we're still trying to teach them of understanding time and score. You know, at the end of the first half, we're trying to go for the last shot, and Jada shoots at three with like 12 seconds on the shot clock, the game clock. And, I, you know, I'm like, w w no. And we're up, I, I think it's a 17-point lead. Sure, if it goes in, everybody's going to be screaming. But the problem is, even if it goes in, if Florida State comes down and scores, now they're going into the half with a made bucket, excitement, like, okay, it does go in. And now you're dealing with a different animal coming out in the second half. Thank goodness lots and shot goes in and out to end the half. But that's the those, those are things that we're still try, trying to teach our kids. I mean, I guess big picture, Jeff, just the level of maturity for this group after just the previous game with Virginia, for them to come back and respond in this way. And I mean, like you said, they played really well for 37 minutes. Just how rewarding is it for the, and especially after the meeting that they had, for just this team to respond in the fashion they did? Well, I was excited. I mean, there's no question about it. I mean, we, we ended the month of February as we started it. You know, win, loss, win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. I mean, now I'd like to start March with a win and that that's really what I'm trying to find out now it's like okay you you responded we played much harder more inten intensity than we did on Sunday but now what Sunday at Notre Dame going to look like that to me is what's going to start to tell the picture of where this team is going to be come NCAA tournament you know what are we going to do ACC tournament as well uh, because it's, it's one of these where, you know, you, you get a lead and you're sitting here, I think we're up 20 at the end of the third or whatever it was. Uh, and if that's the way it is down in the ACC tournament, the first game, you want to get it to 25 or 26. So then all of a sudden you can rest people. Everybody can get the opportunity to play. But when you let some, someone go on a 6-0 run and now it gets down to 13 or 14 or 12, now you got kids playing 34 minutes, 38, where they could have just played 32. Those are the things we're try, try, trying to get them to uh, understand. But, yeah, I, I was very, very pleased with the effort today. Jeff, kind of piggybacking off of uh, how are they going to be in March, specifically with, like, Sydney and Kiki and, and Nina, um, they came here to win in the postseason or experience yep. bigger success than, than they had ever. Have you noticed, like, have you started to see them kind of turn a corner in terms of where they need to be for that to happen? Well, I, I was pleased with our, our performance today, especially defensively, a team that's averaging, you know, close to 78 a game or whatever they score. I mean, they score the basketball. To hold them to, to 55 and they hit a three there at the buzzer, you know, is, is pretty – impressive what I know we need is we have a I, I, I've got a group right now that, that that's mentally and physically tired and the break between the ACC term and the NCAA term is going to be big for us they've played 
but they've never played at the level that we're playing at right now. And that's not a that's not a knock on on JMU because they have an unbelievable program or UMass or anybody like that. It's just we we've now played this month I think four or five top twenty five teams or teams that are getting votes, and you know Sid even said she's like I, we looked it up I think she played three top twenty five teams in her entire career. So like you 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 might have a big game and then all of a sudden you might have three of them that you're like okay we're we're gonna win these three. So you get a break mentally. It's not all physical. But with right now, it's been game after game after game that you you got to bring it both ways. And they're tired. And I know that. And that's why I was really proud of the effort they gave tonight because I knew tonight was going to be a track meet. And that's what I, what I was expecting. Just really pleased with how well we guarded. Well, I was going to ask you how that happens because that's a better defensive effort, maybe the best of the season probably, and rebounding was phenomenal, which was a big part of it. Uh, I know on the defensive end, but is it just effort or just paying attention, or, or is there something more than that that goes into it? Well, I, no, it, w it was – I mean, we, we had a nice talk. You know, I mean, we encouraged them. There, there, there's no question about that. But – Florida State won sending three or four to the gl all offensive glass every time. So they w they were sending some back to stop tra transition. But we did a much better job of turning and locating and boxing out. I mean, we, we sent them a picture from our Virginia game because, you know, the old block charge semicircle, which is not used in our game anymore, but it's still, it's still used in the men's. We always tell them you don't want to be in that – that semicircle. You don't want to be in there. They call it TA, called Turd Alley. You know, stay out of there. And we sent him a picture from that game. There was four of them going for a rebound, four of them, which is really impressive that they could even all four fit in there, standing in there. And I'm like, guys, like, how do I coach this? Because this is a great thing about film, film not lie. So I, I think they were also embarrassed at times. Because I've told him, I go, the one thing about our fan base, and I love our fan base, is if you play hard, they'll come out. Now, they, they want you to win, but there are some games. I thought our Virginia Tech, I thought we played pretty hard. But they shot lights out, and we didn't defend as well, but we played hard. Virginia, we didn't play hard at times. And that's unacceptable. And I'm like, guys, when our fans are questioning how hard we play, that doesn't happen here. You know, it's the one thing we always are complimented on is, God, your kids play hard. Your kids play hard. So we have to fix that. And I thought today we fixed it. Now we got to make sure it continues for Sunday. I appreciate you all. Thank you. I, I do thank you all for, for, for coming out all season. It's really amazing. It's hard to believe it's the re end of the, reg the, the regular season. Uh, I can on on honestly say it's been an extremely enjoyable year for me. Uh, great group of young ladies to coach. Our chemistry has been fantastic all year. Um, I, it, I, it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to go to a Final Four or play in a national ch championship game, but I will, I will tell you it's made it a very enjoyable year for me. And I, I appreciate them for that. I mean, I, I said it on the, the, uh, the radio. I mean, the year we were 14 and 18. I mean, I'm not sure we won 14 games that year. But uh, when Shelby Har Harper was our starting point guard, it was an enjoyable year. Because, I mean, we're playing people we have no business being in the game with. And it's, it's a close game going into the fourth quarter. Because I kids, we, we just competed. I mean, Shelby was a young lady that Monique Reed introduced me to because they played AAU ball together. She came up, she walked on, and I told her when I first met her before the year started, now, Shelby, you probably won't travel on road games, you know, because I'm tight. I'm like, hey, if the kid's not going to play, I'm not going to spend money on a ticket, a hotel room, food. I mean, I'm watching my budget. And after about the first three weeks, first month of practice, we had a rash of in injuries. Shelby becomes our starting point guard. Not only did she travel, I carried her bags. I mean, it was unbelievable, but it's kind of the way the year went. So, I, you know, when P, 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 people look at records, go, oh, the worst year you ever had, it was probably terrible. I'm like, no, actually, I enjoyed it. They were great kids to coach. 
And that's what it's all about. When you find a group that you enjoy coaching that want to get better and want to learn, man, it makes it a ton of fun. So we're excited about our <clears throat> finale here at Syracuse. I mean, at, at, at Notre Dame. Um, that Syracuse game still pisses me off, but I, I won't get into that. I, I might get in trouble. Uh, you know, it's really it, – it, it's something else as you go through a season and then it comes down to the last game or two. You know, as I say, they, 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 they tell me it was the correct call, which is – that's fine. I'm not saying it wasn't. But when they put an interp out a day or two after, eh, it kind of it kind of validates – you know, my wood chopping. So, yes, I appreciate y'all. Thank you.